tomatoes growing already on there. We've got uh, 50, I think 53 tomato plants. We've got tomatoes some growing on that one. And we've got some tomatoes growing on this one. I have to start getting, to go find some steaks, get things staked up a little bit. I've made a, a little bit of a trellis. There's our composter. I've let these radishes go to seed. I planted them super early. They didn't really produce. Uh, where you see some missing in between, they produced, but I uh, thought I'd let them try to go to seed. And uh, <clears throat> that row right there is more radishes. Lots and lots of blooms on the tomato plants. You see a couple of small ones that I had to replant because uh, they got hit by frost when I first got them planted. And my secondary planting of some tomatoes. Some garlic coming up. I may have to replant that. That didn't seem to uh, pop up very well either. I only got four or five of them that popped up. We got some onions, some more onions. And these are uh, green onions. These are like uh, uh, big white onions. And these are okras. Whole row of okra. And peppers. Pepper plants. I have to get in here and do some weeding, but see we got some pepper plants here. Very small. Oh, I went ahead and bought some and planted them in the row. <coughs> Let's see. Pepper plant there. Grass here. Pepper plant. Grass. Uh, pepper plant. No, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's pepper plant, but I'm going to wait. Pepper. This is grass. Uh, grass. I have to go through and weed out these. I'm trying to wait till they wait till the peppers get a little bit bigger and make it a little easier for identification and uh, less chance of disturbing them. Okay. Cucumbers over here. And the cucumbers are doing fairly well. What I did here, <coughs> I planted them in hills. These are some that I just purchased already as plants. But uh, the ones that I planted by seed are almost uh, as good as the ones that I bought. So, you know, planting by seed is, is uh, probably going to be a cheaper alternative than buying them already grown. Just depends on the situation, but I made uh, made a fence there um, to uh, allow the cucumbers to grow up on. They're, uh, they're doing pretty good. And we got yellow squash. Whole row of those. Now, last night I came out and I noticed these, these are zucchinis. They were getting chewed up pretty bad. I had slugs growing all over them. And these little yellow bugs. Okay. Whatever they are, I'm not sure. But uh, they're not they're not zucchini friendly. So I, uh, I'm trying to keep it as organic as possible. And I brought my pepper mill out here. And I sprinkled pepper all over. Which you can see granules there and uh, I just came back and found one of those little yellow bugs on there so maybe that's not the, the right option maybe some hot pepper seeds uh, and some water some warm water make a solution spray on there but these zucchinis are getting chewed up, chewed, chewed up pretty good and I've got three rows or three little hills here of uh, watermelon so pretty much that's the garden so far. <clears throat> and I don't know when I'll do another video on the garden, but uh, periodically as it grows up, I'll uh, I'll come out here and do another one. Um, the die there the um, composter. 
let's see, I don't know what it's going to look like when I open this up, so we'll just, uh, we'll both be surprised. Okay, there it is. It's, uh, it's doing its thing. I have to rotate it a little bit. I put, uh, I put everything in there. Anything that's, uh, that can break down. But I think I'm going to change that, and I'm going to put it, and I'll show you. Here's an overall view of the garden. I'm going to put it in this. This will be our anaerobic digester. I am going to incorporate all the compost in here first let the bacteria do its thing and then transfer I have to obviously do some plumbing I'm just putting water in it right now um, I'll transfer the uh, the runoff back into the garden and uh, try to pull methane off of the uh, off of the waste first and then use the uh, leftovers for the garden that's it I'm still working on the aquaponics system I haven't got that uh, cleaned up yet. Again, you remember I bought these at a uh, value of, of uh, $20 a piece, and the value of that turned into a lot of labor, so it's taken a while to get it all put together. But we're working on getting uh, self-sufficient here and self-reliant and uh, doing what we can for the environment. Thanks for watching.